o'clock, this is the start of the Kyoto vlog. Such a long commute over here. I think like part of the problem is like I was just coming out of school, so we didn't really plan out much of the trip. Um, in Kyoto, like normally you could book tickets online. Not everyone does that, but it's an option. And I think I would have opted to do that if like I was aware of like what a plan was or if there was a plan, but there was no plan. So we went to the train station, like light work, whatever, get the ticket. But there are so many people. When I tell y'all there were so many people, it wasn't even the line, like the Wi-Fi we had. We have a box Wi-Fi with us. It wasn't working for a second because apparently the battery was dead, which I did not realize. So it was just a whole lot of chaos. And then we finally hopped in a train, it took a fat nap, and now we're here. I have a little sandwich left, the kompini. I'm not gonna lie, but like one of my favorite things about being in Japan is like all the cute little, like, I feel like whenever you have anything like a cute little package, it makes the serotonin boost just way higher when it comes to food. So I don't know, I like it. I like this. I'm looking forward to eating it. Hallelujah. But we're here. The hotel is also really, really nice. The one we saw, we had in Tokyo, which by the way, if you haven't checked out that vlog yet, go ahead and check it out. It was a lot smaller, which wasn't really that much of a problem because to be honest, I wasn't spending that much time in that room anyways. But yeah, it's nice to be able to breathe slightly more separate air, but that's more than like a foot apart. Like I kid you not, the beds were literally like very close together. Still overall a really great experience in Tokyo, but the room for sure right now in Kyoto is a lot better. But yeah, so far being here, first thoughts, first impressions, it's really, really chill. Didn't really see that many people walking around. Just to be expected because Kyoto is a more traditional city. So that's pretty cool. I love how I'm talking about Kyoto and it's like I'm repping a Tokyo hat but um yeah it used to be the capital of Japan for like a while um which is why I went to come it's also a really traditional city and vloggers and influencers I like like Sunday Love have been here before and they've had a blast so I'm just looking forward to exploring the area it's gonna rain the entire time we're here but I'm still planning on making the most of it so I will just be walking around a lot there are a lot of temples um to check out and honestly just like a vibe i've just never been to anywhere that looks this traditionally japanese even the room itself is very traditionally japanese like the beds are closer to the ground um they're almost like futon like which i think is really cool i know like i don't know it's an adjustment i guess from like western culture but they feel very soft i'm looking forward to it right now i'm not even sitting on the bed i'm not sure if you can see i'm like sitting on a like a bed turned, a couch turned bed. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you though, it's like not even as soft as like the futon bed. So I'm probably going to chill with the futon bed to be honest. But for eating, I'm gonna eat here, chill out, relax, just be on my iPad with the Wi-Fi. Maybe later today, since it's like the one day where the rain is gonna be more chill, just walk around. But for now, girl, we find to eat, chill with my little Japanese lunch and call it a day. I will catch y'all later. pajamas i like these and the other ones um but these are like really really soft like this hotel kind of different level i don't know it is 7 41 a.m and i should get my day started so i'm gonna get ready in here but yeah these pajamas are really really soft kind of a shame to take them off but we'll put them back on again tonight i'm probably gonna go get breakfast with my dad soon and then probably explore some other areas everything i've seen in kyoto is like oh get up really really early like you want to get up really really early because you don't want to be in a crowded area but like babes i'm not gonna lie i'm really tired from tokyo because i just spent the entire time walking around a lot which i don't even regret at all like i went to see as much as possible and even then i didn't see everything but i walked around a lot there and then even last night i went to that cafe which by the way to die for the food 
was actually some of the best I've had the entirety of like our trip so far and it's been like a week now which is kind of crazy but yeah I got like a vegetable chicken curry roll I'll also put like where I've been in the links down below so that way you guys know what to check out if you want to be here overall dinner was really great and satisfying the weather was so humid but I also felt pleasantly drowsy on the way back home it was just a really good experience um but yeah there is actual breakfast places here when we were staying in Tokyo there were not actual at least like western breakfast places not many there were just like little like chain cafes around um japanese chain cafe so it was still like pretty good i wasn't complaining too much but it was like babes i'm just gonna grab something at the kombini and get on my way because ain't no way but they have actual breakfast places here so you might not just sit down and eat and then you know explore it's also really rainy so we'll see how that goes i'll probably still walk around a lot i'm just not sure how much my dad will feel like walking around because he is getting older that is the plan for today but welcome i'm gonna get ready and we're gonna hop into it
to Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. It is the second day in Kyoto, also the last full day in Kyoto. Tomorrow we're probably not even going to see anything because we have to run straight to the airport. So, so go on the Shikansen from Tokyo, go on the plane, from the plane, back home to DC. And I gotta adjust the time difference yet again. But yes, we are on our way to there. We're just waiting for the bus. I'm standing in front of a temple. There are temples everywhere in Kyoto is what I'm learning. But honestly, so far, I'm really liking Kyoto. Everything we did yesterday was such a time. It was such a time. I think it's just because I'm not used to the architecture. It's completely different and also there's a lot of nature here, which I'm not used to from urban areas. So that's what we're doing. I don't know. It's just really beautiful out today. I'm really looking forward to it. The bus that we're waiting for should be coming soon. But I wanted to make sure to vlog and catch y'all up because I'm very bad at travel vlogging apparently. It's really hard for me to just pause and talk to y'all. But yeah, catch you later. Made it to Arashiyama. It's very, very crowded. This is the entryway to the bamboo forest. So we're gonna walk up there and see if the bamboo. I feel like this is like top five most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Honestly, everything in Kyoto, top five most beautiful sights I've ever seen. I'm holding up a two, I mean five. It's definitely not five. It's definitely not four. Top three, actually, period. I'm changing my statement. It's that good. It's really that beautiful.
has never had sunburn once in my life but here in japan somehow i got sunburned so i'm gonna wash the makeup off my face put a cool towel on and just relax because what the hell before i wash my face i realized actually that i've never explained last night um after all of the shenanigans being in the rain we went to an onsen and it was this nice tattoo friendly onsen which is super super nice it was my first time ever dude i was so amazed i've sat there for so long but the gag is i definitely had sunburn at that moment and i know sitting in hot baths for that long isn't good for you and not only that i didn't properly moisturize my face after because it's my first time going and usually i have a whole like shower routine but my skin felt good i felt mad relaxed i don't even regret it honestly this sunburn it's not even throwing me off because i've had such a good time while being in kyoto like it's not throwing me off They say that you're supposed to put like a cool towel on your face, at least for a little bit, or to help hydrate your skin or something. I don't know why I said they, I don't know who they is. It's weird, cause it's like, I can't see it, but it's definitely there. Like I can feel the dry patches of skin. That feels good. Okay, the one thing is, how am I supposed to breathe through this? This bed is very comfy, by the way. But yeah, like I was saying, despite sunburn, literally one of the best experiences. 2024 has been a year. We're not even all the way through. I'm honestly like kind of terrified and excited about what the rest of the year will bring. But we're not even all the way through and I've graduated. I'm in Japan doing my first internship during school. I've done internships before, but my first internship during school, applying to jobs like a big girl. Like I start my internship next week. It just feels like a very, tumultuous period in my life. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I just feel like I'm talking aloud and rambling because I've barely gotten to ramble to y'all during these vlogs. I'm really happy I got to go to Japan before everything else started, but it also makes me feel like I don't even know. I'm the kind of person that's really rigid on routine for the most part. Maybe I should try and let that go, but I'm not one for the most spontaneity. Like I'll do some things every now and again, but I don't, for the most part, I like to stick to my routine. It feels good. I feel like the healthiest when I do it. I also feel my best, but breaking out of it every now and again, isn't too bad. But I will say I am excited to go home and like be able to buy groceries and cook my own breakfast. Even if I am heading back to New York almost immediately for something for my internship, but moving into my twenties, like I probably will do more chaotic things. Also probably will make some mistakes along the way that aren't really mistakes because they're the only ways you'll learn lessons. For example, sunburn. I've never been sunburned before and now I vow to never be sunburned again because it's kind of inconvenient and I'm kind of scared that my skin will start peeling like a lizard. But overall, I'm chilling. Thank you. 